Well, hey guys, we want to thank you guys for making this first season of the Preferred Experience podcast a great success. Thanks for everyone that subscribed, everyone that listened in, everyone that shared, uh, shared and liked our, our episodes. We did 17 episodes this year, and we're looking to do 20 or 30 more next year. Uh, we wanted to spread a little Christmas joy in our last podcast this season, and we thought, what better way than to take some of our best guests and have them recite Twas the Night Before Christmas. Some of the guests you've already seen, some of the guests will be coming up in season two. But it's, a great, it's been a great year. We look forward to season two of the Preferred Experience podcast. We hope you do too. And now, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and here is Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children would nestle all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mounted to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. All his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. From the city of Prattle, I want to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, and a happy Kwanzaa. God bless.